Bad Cookie Review slash Story Time. So, kicking it off is going to be the Bad Cookie Review for this game. There's not much to say about My Sexy Waitress, but at the same time, there's plenty of it to say. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really going to elaborate on that because I'm just talking out of my ass. But to uh, get into it, so the game, uh, apparently you're playing as some dude named Scott. Stupid ass fucking name, but whatever. Uh, apparently he's supposed to be like some kind of like Chad like uh, Chad like author author. Uh, well, you're just talking to this bar uh, bartender named Irma, although I call her Belfast. I mean, can, can you really blame me? She looks like Belfast <laughs> from Azuline, big old nut. But yeah, so y'all are just having uh, conversations together, uh, talking about like these really sexy times with some other characters that you get to see get butt ass naked. It's pretty fucking nice. Uh, when it comes to gameplay, it's really just rip off Bioshock, Bioshock puzzles. That's literally the only thing I can think of, which is like the hacking mini game from Bioshock. Uh, very, uh, very short and simple. Uh, unfortunately, if you're like me, I fucking suck at puzzles. But that that's just me, man. <laughs> I'm I'm fucking terrible at them. Uh, from a narrative standpoint of this game, or if you could even call it that, uh, there, there's a few typos uh, here and there, but I'm not really I'm not really gonna complain about that. I mean. This game, I think it was like two or three bucks, I think, which wasn't really bad. So w with that being said, uh, putting everything all together, because this game is really short. Like if you're really good at puzzles, you don't really care about seeing the, the, the good bits, which in that case, uh, why the hell did you even buy the game in the first place? You fucking loser. Uh, I mean, it's definitely worth the three bucks. It gets a really high score for me. Uh, there's like some generic background music in, in the back, but I had to turn that shit off because the music was louder than I can talk, and for some reason I can't talk very loud most of the time. But overall, this game definitely gets a, I want to say about a 67 out of 69. I kind of want to give it a perfect score, but that would just, it would be kind of unfair for me to say that only because the fact that I only really like this game for a strong memory that I have of it. But overall, I mean, definitely a fun game. If you like puzzles, hey, go for it. You know, something simple to like just kill like 30 minutes to an hour of your time. You know, get some nice, tasty loots to go with it. Most of the artwork, uh, personally for me, is pretty good, and I think anybody else would agree with that. Like, out of all the girls, I mean, I like about, like, 90% of the artwork. The other 10% is, like, eh, kind of iffy. So, with that being said, yep, that was that's my little score right there. 67 out of 69. Big-ass nut rating. Love this game. Would definitely recommend it for the price. Or if you if you can find it if you can find it somewhere else for free, hey, get it. I mean, it's it's pretty fun. The dialogue makes me laugh. It's stupid. Uh, surprisingly, a little bit of a side note I forgot to mention. It what made me surprised more about that small price tag was that it actually has voice acting, which is kind of funny. I'm like, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's technically the same. Oh, well, it is the same chick. Oh, just doing all the doing the voices for this all the girls. But in my dreams, I'm I'm just pretending it's multiple different girls and they all just sound the same. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean that there's there's quite a bit to appreciate from this little game. Like I said, I I think it's like two or three. It was like two or three bucks. It still might be that price. I say definitely pick it up. So bad cookie review to the side. I want to get into a little story. So in, my, in the last video for the finale of this game, I actually um I kind of elaborate a little bit on the details about why I kind of have like a strong memory with this game. Or I guess I really shouldn't be using the word strong. More like a, a really good memory of this game. Like, uh, <laughs> thinking back of it now, I'm like, man, I, I sound really pathetic. <laughs> but, uh, no, but in, in all seriousness, uh, cause when I actually bought this game, I think I bought it a week before I actually, um, quit my job. So what, what had happened was I left the game on, I left the game on my laptop, just let it chill there and shit like that. And I was telling myself, well, you know what, whenever I get a day off, you know, Hey, I get to have the horny, the horny is strong, you know, I'll eventually get to it. But during that last, that last week of work. There was like, um, it was either like a, a, a bad sinus infection or like a bug that was going around because on my, on the last day that I, that, that I worked there, I actually came home with the sinus infection. Like it was kind of weird. I was like, oh man, you know, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm not, I'm not getting sick. Cause where I used to work, it, it was basically, I was a supply clerk, a supply clerk for a warehouse. And you know, we basically did the shit for like, uh, the, we did the, the meat patties for like water burger and like stuff for checkers. But fucking, um, yeah. So well, just to elaborate again, this is. When that, that last day, the reason I decided to quit just for like a little bit more information, fucking why not, is because my boss had told me, she goes, all right, cool. Well, she goes, because we had this little inventory thing going on, there's not that many supply clerks. She goes, unfortunately, I can't get the morning people to do it, which was bullshit because she had three supply clerks, whereas me, 
the closing guy was just all by myself. But, oh, well, fucking, you know, a job's a job. It happens. But because she tells me, she goes, well, only you can do it because we're too busy in the morning. I'm like, fuck it, whatever. Women, right? <laughs> you need a man to get it done, bitch. But, no, but, yeah, she goes, so for the next for the next 14 Saturdays, we are going to have to be coming in. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I go, but my own little thing is, uh, don't we, don't we, aren't we also going to be working Sundays because of the, the renovations construction? She goes, yes, that she goes, it's so she goes, you might not get a day off for the next like three, three and a half months or some shit like that. Like, all right, cool. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Cause I ain't fucking doing that shit. So that, that, that'll happen you now. Just getting, get, getting back on point. Sorry about that. But yeah, so I actually got, I, like I said, I, I started feeling the sickness Cause shit, I I think I started my my shift was at two forty five p.m. and shit. I mean they they stay late this fucking day. I mean anyone that works in production or like warehousing, like bro, you you know how long sometimes they can stay. Like you, you're you're gonna stay and you're gonna get it done whether you like it or not. So fuck man, that that was a pain in the ass. So I think I got out around like five fifteen in the morning, but I started feeling like I started feeling a little like bad, like just a little bit of sickness. Like I started getting a sore throat. And, you know, so, something with my weird ass is for some reason I can tell I'm getting sick because the first thing that, that starts going wrong is my thighs get really sore. So I'm just like, oh, shit, like I, I can barely walk. I can barely talk. <laughs> but, yeah, so like I said, I, I got really sick and I, I started feeling it. And at first I wasn't feeling too bad. But then eventually on, on the ride home, I can tell like it was really fucking hitting me. Like, oh, shit, dude, I, I'm feeling fucking bad. Like just just walking from the driveway to 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 just to get into my house, like I felt fucking like shit. Like, damn, like I'm already fucking breathing heavier, and not because I'm fat. Okay, yeah, probably because I'm fat. <laughs> but yeah, so I I just came into the room. I threw my I threw my backpack with my laptop and my phone. I just threw it on the chair, because the way my room set up is I basically it's basically just a big old big ass cube. But I got my bed to the farthest corner of the room, and then I got my chair just right there. So everything was just thrown right next to me. And at first, I, I wanted to eat because I'm like, man, dude, I'm fucking hungry as shit. But I don't know. I guess I was just so tired. Like, I, I didn't even fucking care. I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay down. Fuck this shit, man. And shit, I mean, it was like maybe around like 5:40 when I got home. And shit, dude, when when I fell asleep, I was out for a long fucking time. I woke up. I want to say, shit, dude. I think like. I'm, I'm not even trying to exaggerate. I think I woke up like around like 11 p.m. on that day. So I think I crashed for maybe like, shit, man, like 19 hours. And that was the bad thing with the sickness was I I kept falling asleep. I was sleeping maybe like 20 hours a day. I I would just do small things here and there. And like I said, I want to say it was maybe about four or five days where I was feeling the sickness or sinus infection for the longest fucking time. I felt like shit, just complete fatigueness or just f- feeling fatigued up the ass. You know, my fucking chest is just filled with, filled with mucus, just coughing up, coughing up a fucking storm. Pretty much lost my voice for, for, for that duration of those five days as well. And just extreme soreness. Like, I, I was I was basically just useless, man. I, I couldn't do anything. I mean, the only time I could ever get myself up was just to go use the bathroom, go pee pee real quick, which is like, damn, I want to get peed on, but here I'm just peeing. <laughs> Can't even pee on myself. But I mean, shit, dude. I mean, I, I think where I affected, where I messed up too was, uh, I'm, cause uh, during during the time I was mostly asleep, I wasn't really eating. So, you know, going on without eating, I guess I just started feeling even more weaker than I was already feeling. But the reason why I'm also talking about this game, why I have such a strong memory with it, is because this game, even though it's really short, I think it took me like maybe seven hours to actually beat it. Reasons being because I would play the game in very short bursts and then fall asleep. <laughs> so I'll just kind of leave the game running in the background. Then when I turn on my laptop, oh cool, there's the game again. Night. <laughs> but man, dude, like, cause uh, like I said, being asleep for 20 hours a day wasn't really good. You know, sometimes I wouldn't be asleep for the whole 20 hours. I'd kind of like sleep maybe like nine, wake up, try to do something for like 30 minutes. But really, I would just sit in bed and or not really sit, like just lay on my side, just fuck, just looking at my looking at my laptop. And so another thing that kind of combos with this game is. Uh, one thing I really love is Azure Lane. And if you notice in the videos, I'm always calling Irma Belfast. Well, because she looks like Belfast. <laughs> so it's just, I don't know. I, I guess it's just one of those things where for, for those four, either four or five days, again, I'm not too sure. This was all I really got to see. Like, this was the only thing I was waking up to. This is what I was going to sleep to. This is the thing that was keeping me company. I mean, my mom was calling me, you know, to check on me. But most time when she called, you know, she was at work and 
unfortunately, I was asleep during that time, so we didn't really talk. Which, I mean, okay, that's fine. She understands. I understand. That's cool. We'll, we'll talk again. And I'll eventually get to talk to her another day. But in a sense, it just, I, I guess why, like, I, I keep saying more of a strong memory instead of a happy memory is because, again, this is pretty much what I got to only see and do for those few days. You know, yeah, my friends are just, and, and no, they're close to me as well, but, bro, I, I just could not get off that fucking bed, you know, just constantly sleeping. So, you know, I, I guess it's kind of like a little phase, I guess. I guess you can call it, like, you just feel an attachment because, like, dude, like, this is pretty badass. Like, yeah, the character's not real and shit. I mean, I'm not going to be one of those fucking wees, but, you know, it's just nice that I had something to basically kind of keep me company while I'm feeling like shit. Which, I mean, I really do appreciate, you know, I, like I said, I really do appreciate that memory, you know, I don't appreciate the sickness because that shit fucking sucked. But I mean, it, this this definitely kept me a lot of company. Uh, so like I said, I mean, one of the one of the, uh, the bartenders she looks just like Belfast, and like I said before, I mean, I don't I don't have a definitive top ten waifu list like of all time for me at the moment. But uh, if I did, you'd bro, I guarantee you Belfast would be in that would be in that list for sure. Uh, probably within the top five, not top three. Uh, unfortunately, she would probably share that spot with Ticonderoga, but hey, you know that's that's a topic for another day. But like I said, this is something that again, I just have a strong memory with it. I really enjoyed it. You know this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a stupid porn game. It, it makes the horny strong, but bro, like I said, I mean, it kept me company, and that that's you know I I definitely appreciate that. Cause I mean, shit, I mean, w- which is kind of sad too, because uh, when it comes to these kind of games. I mean, I do like the porn games, but at the same time, like I said, I do like Agiline. It's basically just a gotcha game. But uh, what was kind of crazy about those those five days or four, like, again, I really can't remember. Because the, at the time, the only gotcha games I was playing was just Fire Emblem Heroes and Azure Lane. Uh Bro, that was like the first time like I actually ever missed logging into Fire Emblem Heroes. Which is kind of crazy because a little side note for that is I've actually been playing Fire Emblem Heroes since the very first day it came out. Which was like in 2017. And I was working like at a pawn shop and shit like that. But it just kind of threw me off when I realized, oh, shit, like, I never logged in for once. like, Or at least I don't ever remember ever logging into this shit. And the reason being for that is because I actually have two different phones. Uh, one, which would be my which uh, the phone I use for work and, you know, for calling people, texting people. But that only had Azure Lane because of uh, memory issues. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes was, like, on, on a deactivated phone. So, fuck it, it just had other stuff, like some other porn games and stuff like that. But it, it mainly held my uh, Fire Emblem Heroes account. But that that thing was already dead. Whenever I tried to pick it up or whatever, I mean, also I, I think it was on on my mini fridge. But unfortunately, my mini fridge is farther from my seat, and, and like I said, bro, I was not getting my ass up from this bed. And even when I did go up to go to the bathroom, I was like, you know, I don't even care. I just want to get my fat ass back into bed. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, uh, that sickness I think it lasted about maybe two weeks. After the fifth day, I definitely did start feeling better. Definitely a lot better, actually. Uh, Cause the only thing that sucks is it's it's actually kind of rare for me to get sick, which is kind of surprising with how much of a fat ass I am. But I mean, I, I think anybody can relate that when you finally do get sick, bro, it it smacks the shit out of you, and you're you're gonna be down for a while. Like fuck, like when I got that sinus infection, I think I went like without going without being sick for maybe like maybe like two maybe like two and a half years since I actually got sick. And then after I left that job, man, it just, man, it smacked the shit out of me. Like, damn, bro, like, I'm down bad. Like, if Belfast was here, she'd be beating the shit out of me. But, other than that, but, yeah, so that's definitely my own little story. Uh, like I said, it's nothing sad or anything like that. It's just, again, I, I just felt like an attachment to that. Just, again, I, like I said, I think it was just a phase of just like, oh, well, I can't really see anybody and I'm sick as fuck and I don't want to get anyone sick. But, you know, so it was cool definitely waking up to this. I mean, I don't think I could, I think even if it was a situation where I wasn't sick, I, I think I, nothing would have really happened to me, like, like go insane or whatever, because yeah, this is just for a few days, so fuck it. But, um, that, you know, that, that's my own little story that I wanted to share. Again, <laughs> people will probably be laughing at me like, wow, you fucking loser, but hey, man, you know what, I had, it, it kept me sane, I was happy with it, you know, so ha, ha, props to this game, bro, like seriously, props to this game. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share that. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, share the video. You know, thanks for watching. Now, if you excuse me, I got to call into work today. Got to tell my boss I can't make it in. Because my excuse is I'm pretending to be sick, even though I'm not sick. Night.